Thank you, Ken. Uh, first off, I'd like to say, I think I said this last time I was here, anybody that saw Stelts on the uh, program and think it was my brother, I'm sorry. If you were expecting, expecting 6'2 with long hair, you got the stocky uh, fullback brother. But a uh, little background on myself, uh, I played at Archbishop Rummel, um, fullback for Coach Roth. And just to say, congratulate all these coaches because I never made it to a state championship and won some district championships, so I understand how hard that is. Very, very tough. Um, decided to walk on at LSU after I had some small school offers and ended up earning a scholarship after my first year and starting for three years, national championship year and thereafter. I played under Saban for four years and less miles for one year. Uh, if anybody wants to ask a comparison between them two after or Coach O, we can do that after, but not much of a comparison. <laughs> um, <laughs> my brother, as y'all know, or anybody doesn't know, um, came after me, was an All-American at LSU, played for the Bears for, I think, seven years, um, has, has had a good career, and it's been good for both of us. Um, LSU was great, and LSU, I think, is on the right path right now with Coach Ogeron. I think that he's going to keep pushing and lead them where they need to be. It looks like the work, that work ethic is back, which I, to me, kind of saw fall off a couple years, but it looks like it's back. The intensity's back. The guys look like they're happy to be there. Uh, this year was a good year. I think that nobody expected us to have nine wins. And really, two of the games, I think, you know, should have been, should have been. I mean, A and M first of all, then the Florida game. I think both of those could have been Ws. Alabama, I, I still think we're working up to that, but I think we'll get there. You know, the intensity that he's bringing to the program, I think, is good. I think the quarterback situation was definitely an upgrade from what we had, and I think that's only going to get better. The O lines and D lines, the intensity looks like it's getting back. We get a couple big guys and get a couple got extra guys in there where we can rotate, I think we'll be doing good. So glad the way things are going with LSU. Um, again, thank you again once for inviting me to be here. Any questions? Questions? Raise your hand if you have one. Yeah. Young man, would you uh, briefly tell us what it's like I'm right here? <laughs> Jay Rock, pillar of community, very well respected in the state. His demeanor in person, I've only known him for four years, but I've had a chance to visit with him a lot as a coach versus that demeanor you see. Are we talking about the same guy or are we talking about a different guy? I was always coached by, uh, you know, men like Coach Roth, where it was a coaching figure, status of power and respect, which is what they demanded. And I think that also set me up for when I went to saving, because it was the same kind of coach. Um, but nothing but good things to say about Coach Roth. Great coach. And I think, you know, I think now maybe he's gotten a little older. I think he's, I think he's maybe, uh, you know, calmed down a little bit. But nothing but good things to say and a great coach. Nowadays, the, uh, the fullback position is pretty much extinct. <laughs> Dying breed. Yeah. Did you see that coming as you were playing, or in, did you think about changing your position to maybe make it in a little bit further up? You know, uh, definitely saw it coming with offenses and the way things are going. You know, the lineup smash mouth ball. It's not there as much. Uh, changing position for me. I don't really know how many options I had. I was probably a little slow for linebacker with the defensive schemes now today, uh, probably a little short for line. So, but fullback worked for me and I enjoyed my time. And uh, like I tell everybody, you know, my last game was the Peach Bowl. I think we beat Miami 42 to seven. I went out on top, I'm happy. Evan, can you, uh, where do you think the program is now at LSU? And do you think they're, they're on their way back to where they were, to the top, top echelon? We know they're in the top 10 or 11 in the CFP standings, but do you think they're on the way back to being a top five program again? I do. I don't think LSU needs to take backseat to anybody. And I think that 
Coach Ogeron is going to build it back up to, you know, what it was when I was there and we were coming up. And I don't want to say it fell off because Craig won a national championship in 07 with Miles. Uh, Craig was last, Saban's last recruiting year on that team. But I, I definitely think that, you know, he's continuing to drive and bring back what fell off a little bit. So I definitely think that they're on the come, come up and we'll be back, you know, top five teams in the nation year after year. Kevin set, Kevin set a bench press record at LSU. How many pounds? Uh, 605. And I carried the ball four times in three years of starting. <laughs> and my brother scored a touchdown from defense before I did. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? So, <laughs> some of my stats right there. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Kevin.